or do you want to tell everybody what's been going on? What we did this weekend? Too much shit. Too much shit. I don't even know what we did this weekend. Nothing. Went to your parents. Went to my parents. Um, well, it's uh, Ronan got his first uh, lawnmower red. Yeah. With Grandpa. He also got us, he got to enjoy his first little campfire. Oh, yeah, had that last night. He thought sleep is normal. Yeah, he's getting his uh, top two teeth. Mm-hmm, yeah, you said that. We haven't watched any new Arrow or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or The Flash. That or will be, I think, tomorrow. Or Supernatural. Or Supernatural. We have not talked about Supernatural. I kind of forget about Supernatural. Oh that. my gosh, that's because you don't like it. I actually do like Supernatural. You better, because it's amazing. Did you know one of my PlayStation friends who lives really close to us loves Supernatural. Mm. Mm, good. Ty. You know Ty. You know Ty by a different name. Okay, yeah. Loves Supernatural. Loves Supernatural. He's obsessed with it. Actually. Smart fella. Nice teenage girl. Hey. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good show. I am actually really shocked by it. It's really good. Tomorrow's 420. Tomorrow is 420, isn't it? So I'm super excited about all the annoying potheads on my Facebook making statuses about it. That's going to be really fun. I bet it will be. I already had one tonight. This fellow that I know from back in the day. He's like, what's everyone doing for the holiday? I'm like, it's not a fucking holiday. You fucking idiot. It's kind of true. It's not really a holiday. It's not. It's just, it's just another day. I kind of want to comment and say, Lord, have mercy on your soul. I don't think there's really... I watched that anime that we used to watch together, but it's not English dub, so it doesn't really affect much. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been re-watching The Ranch. Yep. That's been good. It actually is. I'm catching a little bit of other stuff that I missed when we watched it the first time. Yeah, me too. It's good. Good show. that last show that we I, I watched it. Oh, I watched the the agenda. But we watched the show together on Netflix together. We did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well I watched it and you played uh, My Little Pony. Okay. So I have no clue what you're talking about. Yep, that's about how it goes. That's alright. So I went on Reddit today, 
and explored the Reddit that they have on there. Um, I definitely thoroughly enjoyed the creepy section. That was fun. I'll be monitoring the feed, ghost. Good luck to you both. You were telling me about all the creepy stuff that wasn't really creepy? Yeah, the creepy stuff wasn't really creepy. Because I'm dropping my phone on my dog in accident. As my phone's slowly delaying getting my uh, PlayStation messages that I got a few minutes ago. That was pretty awesome. And you use the word creepy way too much. Oh my god, you've said it like 30,000 times. Like every other word was creepy when you were describing it. I wanted to push you out of my car. I feel like they should have used the subreddit differently than as creepy. They should have used it as paranormal versus creepy. Well, that's not their fault that you overuse the word. Well, that's just the subreddit's fault is creepy. Yeah, but you described the things as creepy as well. You're like, that was really creepy. Creepy like, creepy like, creepy like, creepy like. You use the word creepy a lot. Like, too much. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about working out today. Yeah. So was I, and then our son kind of decided to start wandering around and ended that whole shindig. I just thought about coffee, I, or coffee cake and ice cream all day. So that kind of deterred me away from working out. I don't have that sweet taste like you do. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Because before, when I wasn't working out, I didn't feel the need to eat chocolate every five seconds. But now that I'm working out, I just want to shove my face with chocolate. Like, I think I should just deal with being fat. I don't know where you get that craving from. I think that if you had more fruit in your diet, you wouldn't have that. It's not the same. If you just ate more fruit that would curb my yeah i doubt it what the hell was that my, you know you know nothing about me my mind no. yes thank you for your input Eris. Eris is crazy Today. That was super fun. I took a nap. And that was super fun. We also, the other day, we also watched uh, Batman on Batman. With Kevin Smith. That was pretty fun. It was good. It definitely didn't affect me as much as it affects you. No. It was life altering for you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can you? 
Yeah, but you're not as nerdy as I am. Mm. Not even a little bit. If you don't get into comic books and stuff like I do. So, that stuff doesn't change your life. No. We just talked about Civil War. I mean, it wasn't anything stupendous. Well, they talked about like how the movie is going to be and Guardians, get to your ship and get out of there. And how it's going to be completely different. Uh, like, apparently it's supposed to be like big, like how the one guy said that it was the best Avengers movie or, you know, Marvel movie to date. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure it is really good. To me, though, like, his scale, like, the Captain America movie was the best. And to me, it's really good, like... Like, the first Avengers movie, like, he thought was the best. And to me... The first Avengers movie was not the best. Um, it was definitely... Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought the Guardians of the Galaxy movie was extremely good and was like the best. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Or was it, um, no, it was Captain America. He thought Captain America was the best. Thanks, sir. But. I can see like how he thought the feel like Cap America was the best. But you know what movie I think is the best? What? Peter Pan. Which Peter Pan movie? Um, Peter Pan. Oh, the new one. Oh, that's Pan. The only Peter Pan movie there is. I thought they did another Peter Pan movie. They've done a million, but the only one that's called Peter Pan, the original one, the Disney one. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure they did another Peter Pan movie. I don't know about that. Go ahead. Well, then that's too little too late. Yeah, you're the one on your phone right now. You can check it out. I'm going to go to Bing so I can get more points and get more shit. Well, you can definitely check it out and see out which two fan or how many two fan movies they did. Oh, in Peter Pan movie. Shrek is in the lineup of Peter Pan movies. I'm glad to know that. Close fucking enough. Okay, so there's Pan from 2015. Apparently Shrek, 2001. There is a Peter Pan, 2003. Hook, 91. Finding Neverland, 2004. Peter Pan in 53, which is what I'm talking about. Apparently The Lion King. Part one and a half. Fits in this category. That doesn't make sense at all. No, fucking doesn't. Believe. Fairy Tale, A True Story, 97. I don't know what that is, but that fits. Return to Neverland, 2002. Neverland, 2011. Peter Pan, 1924, Neverland, 2003, Peter Pan's 1976, Peter Pan Live, 2014, that's 
a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Finding Neverland is super good. I really love Pan. That was a really good movie. I, I thought Pan was pretty good. Pan was really good. So I also did some research on Spider-Man. So apparently I was wrong on the whole Spider-Man thing. So apparently the original Spider-Man of the comic book, Spider-Man was a teenager in high school. Yeah, I know. So like you Have you ever seen the movies? I don't go off of what movies based it off. I try to go off the original source material. You sound like such a douchebag sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm not going to base everything off of what a movie says, but so... No. Well, I mean, considering... In all the movies, he's a teenager, obviously. You know? Well, I gotta yeah, remember, when I was a kid, I watched the Spider-Man cartoons, were ba which were based off the comic books, and when I started watching those cartoons, he was, like, in college. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Like, I'm not gonna go, oh, why, why is Spider-Man not, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna say, hey, Spider-Man needs I don't like Brazilian nuts. Sorry. Why isn't he asleep yet? I don't know. Our kiddo is just having a rough time with those two top teeth. We need to fix your mic. It's really uh, crackling. I'm fine. I can hear your mic though, it's really... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <sighs> well, now I'm cold. Maybe this will be better for you. It stopped crackling so much. It's probably just rubbing against my sweatshirt. Yeah. That's probably what it was. So we need to figure out what we need to do next. So this one is... What are you doing on here? Um, today is Tuesday, so we, it's Destiny Tuesday, tomorrow is Borderlands, Thursday is Minecraft, and Friday is Border, or Bloodborne. What are you doing on here? Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now, It's what to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Currently, like clearing out some stuff, so some of these are just garbage.
gonna go. It sounds like she's gonna lead to him. Or bring him out here or something. Calm him down. Yep, she's got some books for the little guy. <laughs> and I do not know where these consume at um, the drone or out the drone are at. So we're gonna try to figure out where these guys are at. It's been a long time since I did any Destiny playing. Oh, we're gonna go this way. Little green we have been seen together in this too. Little blue zooms off again to see what we can see. It's little red, he tells himself, our wide eyed neighbor story. What's up, Poe? What do you been doing? Not and you summoned me. Well, it is, uh. Hi, Katie. Katie is reading to Ronan right now. He's not having a good time. His, uh. Two upper front teeth are bothering him, so he's not going to sleep. Aww, he's teething. Yep. Poor guy. Yep, we're doing our uh, nightly podcast. Last night got uh, canceled because because of his front teeth. Mm. So it was that bad. Oh well. That was fun. Okay, let's see that one. It's going. That's all I can really say. How's the uh, PvP update going? Huh? How was the PvP update? What PvP? It was the last update was a PvP update. You know how last time we talked it was uh your buddies were saying, oh, it's going to be an update for uh, crafters. And I'm like, no, it's for PvP. Okay, for one, you got to get that mic closer to your freaking mouth because I can barely hear shit. One. So, <clears throat> last time we spoke, there was, we talked about how there, the update. Oh, the feast update, yeah. Yeah. And the crafters were saying, oh, it's a crafting update. And I'm like, no, they're wrong. It's it's for PvP and balancing out the PvP for the feast. Oh, 
Parasite. So I'm playing some Destiny, and it's super fun, kinda. <laughs> Enchanted Gold Ink. I opened up a nice little uh, Reddit subform on the Borderlands 2, talking about Destiny and the Division. Mm -hmm. on how Destiny and The Division both took, inf you know, like, bits and pieces of Borderlands from, you know, like, their RNG systems and the gear grinding from Borderlands and, mm -hmm. like, the MMO-ish and the RPG-ish forms from Borderlands, but then they failed on the aspects of telling the story. Oh, I opened up a can of worms on there. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is like, you could really tell the people that defended, the, you know, Destiny, like, but no one defended the div the, the division on there. And I'm like, you, you don't understand. Borderlands told a solid story. There was no half-ass on there. And their RNG system was solid. Right. Like when you when you got loot, it was solid loot. You know, and they're like, well, they were going in there blind. I'm like, no, they weren't. You know, they were going in with next or gen system, and Borderlands 1 was already out. So, like, they had a game similar to what they were going for. So they didn't have to go in blind. They had a game out to what something they wanted. So like the core was already there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, okay, so we want to take this style, modify it to fit what we want, and that's what we want to do. And they failed. Oh well. And that's that's what I'm trying to get across. Is like, they they didn't go in blind, you know. And that's what I put on there. It's like they didn't have to. They, I was like, I, the wording I put in there, they didn't have to go blind in blind, deaf, and dumb. <laughs> blind, deaf, and blind, deaf, and dumb, and yet so full of cum. Pretty much, and it's that's what they did. You know, they made a fun game, but it's one of those things is it could have been stronger. Um, their RNG system could, could have been a lot better. They didn't have to restrict the weapon designs the way they did. Mm -hmm. And they, they could have made something stronger. They they could have made it a lot stronger. I guess is what I'm trying to go for. A YouTuber that I was watching today was saying that his job is to play video games. Was talking about how he was playing The Division and he you know, he only played it for a couple of weeks, and that he was already tired of it. And I'm like, dude, my job isn't to play video games full time, and I'm already tired of it. <laughs> I'm like, how is this possible? 
And I'm like, the game is not that exciting. There's not a lot of content in the division. Mm -hmm. It's that damn hype train again, you know what I mean? He says it's bare bones. Like you got that skeleton and then this raid came out for it and then you got a little bit more of the bare bones. <laughs> mm. And I'm like, I completely agree with it. Um, and it's just more of a Destiny styled game. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Destiny is almost like, I'm in an area in Destiny right now that used to be just jam-packed with people. And... And I remember... When we used to be in here and just... Just destroying stuff, man. Just as a huge group. And it was like, wow, man. There's tons of people and we used to fight over areas. So what are you working on on Final Fantasy right now? Well, a bunch of friends of mine um, asked me if I wanted to go into the Final Coils of Bahamut to get some of the uh, glams. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. Just getting some of the glamour stuff. Well, I want to get the entire uh, what's it called? The dreadworm set. Ah. Uh. Because what's funny is that on my on one of my runs of doing the final coil of Bahamut, um, hmm, um, what was I saying? Shit. Oh yeah, I got the um the barred chess piece. So, I completely fell in love with it, and I'm trying to get the rest of it right now, oh, so. Oh, yeah, the coil sets were pretty cool. Well, the High Allegan sets, the High Allegan set is cool. The regular Allegan, I thought was the lamest fucking shit ever. Cause it just looks shitty, like, some little kid created this, you know? <laughs> oh my god, just get him a plastic ball! What are you talking about? For, um... Ronan. Oh no, Katie's playing with him. I meant a plastic ball for his teeth. Oh no, it's... 
he's laughing right now. Oh, is that what it is? I thought he was yeah, crying. He's, no, he's laughing. What happened? Did you fall backwards? <laughs> That's him laughing. So I have two interviews this week, and then I have another interview next week. So congratulations! Ugh, a lot of driving this week. Ugh. This week I get, we have a total of four and a half hours. So. Not, not a lot of fun going into it, so. That's what we got going on. Oof. Kiddo completely headbutted himself into my leg. Oh, now he's going crazy. Daddy needs so hard. Yeah, don't make my legs so hard. I got the new sword for, for Destiny. The wavy one, which is kind of cool looking. Take it easy.
I'm lagging way behind these guys. They're already up there. It's been so long since I did one of these. So, my wife is entertaining the, our son, wearing him out, which is pretty good. That's nice of her. It was nice of her to join us at the beginning of the podcast. No, I was saying that it was nice of you to join us at the beginning of the podcast. Not very warm in here. This guy's almost burnt down all the way. Come on. Well, that's pretty shitty. The past again. The destruction of the restorative mind will ripple across the stars, and its leaves will be. We'll do the Carlton after that. Very well done, Guardian. Where are you going? What are you doing in there? There we go. How about that? We're probably going to call it quits after we get these engrams decoded.
our uh, hour-long broadcasts are probably going to get a little shorter. Depending on the game that we're playing. Did he take his bottle? Yep. That's good stuff. I remember getting 290 gear out of blues. Take it easy, everybody. Like and subscribe and comment.